Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the next chapter vlog. We have a twofer today on this video. Uh, number one, I made the return trip to Bucky's, and this time we're going to sample some of their lunch fares. Wesley, stop it. And then part two is I finished this book and I have some thoughts on it. So stay tuned. Okay, my daughter wanted some pressed pennies, so we're going to do these. It's a cranker, so we'll be here for several minutes. Okay, and here's my results. He is slicing the briskets. This is great. Okay, that Bucky's, I went shopping. Um, I did some adjustment to my camera, so my display is kind of wonky. Hopefully we're getting this. Not, not The lunch stuff wasn't out yet, so I bought a couple of things that I could that are lunch related. The first one is the chopped brisket sandwich, eight fifty. dollars The prices went up here. I'll get this open. I'm going to take a bite now and save the rest of it for later. It smells wonderful. That's nice too, so the brisket's tender. Pull apart, there we go. There's the inside sauce, hot, steamy. Take a bite. Not bad, very good. Very tasty, very tender. The whole thing's falling apart on me too. Just a sign of a good brisket. So there we got that. And the other thing I was able to get, I'll have to come back in, I needed to eat, I was starving is sausage on a stick with tortilla, $7.50. I'm going to attempt to open this up. It's wrapped very well. I'm just going to, I'm not going to cut into this. I'm just going to take a bite and not show you where I've eaten. So I mean, I can't get it open. I'd like to not completely destroy the plastic so I can wrap this back up and throw it in a cooler. <sighs> oh, literal. I'm going to pull a stick out because I don't need the stick. And I'll just take a bite off the end. Oh, wow. That's a good kielbasa. Nice seasoning. Juicy. And delicious. So when the lunch stuff comes out, I'm going to go back in and we'll... Excuse me. We'll go back in and we'll have some more. Okay, let's do some geocaching. We're going for the first one. No ducks allowed. Shall I take a guess? Let's take a look, see if it's under here. Yep, it's under here. Lunch stuff came out, and I got three different sandwiches. Paid $31 for these three sandwiches, and you'll see why in a moment. The first one I want to talk about is this one. I'm not going to cut these in half. I'm just going to show you the inside and then take a bite and tell you what I think. This is the barbecue turkey sandwich at $8. Let us open it up. And anything I don't eat, I've got a cooler with some ice that this is going to go in. And this will be something I nosh on during the week. Ooh, that looks, look how decent that looks. I'll take a bite. Turkey is juicy. It's not dried out. There is some sauce on it. I ain't going to buy the sauce. There we go. Some sauce, which is sweet. We will wrap that guy up and enjoy it. Next one is the club melt, which um, is a series of meats with the spicy mayo and a pesto. And this was $8.49. Let me get this open. Oh, for my goodness. This is on more of a like Kaiser type roll. This has got the barbecue sauce also, I believe, and it is dripping like crazy. So, yeah, we're having a napkin. There we go. Turkey, cheese, bacon, the sauce, and we shall take a bite. Not bad. Looks like it's deli turkey, cheese, and I'm dripping all over the place here. So, this one's good. 
I like it. And yeah, there's the kick from the AR right there. That's number two. And the third one is the three meat sandwich, and this was thirteen dollars. This is this is pricey because it's three meats, and it has sausage, brisket, and turkey. And it's pretty thick too. And I drip some sauce on the console. There we see we got the barbecue sauce coming out. There it is. Look at that. Wow. And the turkey's moist. Brisket, just like before, is really good. And this is sliced sausage, which is similar to the sausage on a stick with a lot of sauce. This is great. So it looks like I will have lunches for the rest of the week. And I'm going to buy some gas and head home. I've got an appointment later today back in town. And i got to get to. So with that, we're going to end it here. And we're going to turn it back over to me in the studio for a book review. Hey, Art, thanks for that great trip to Bucky's. It sounds delicious. And I, quite frankly, I'm going to look forward to eating it tonight. I haven't eaten any of it since I brought it home uh, two days ago. And I've got a plan for everything that I did without the bread. I'm trying to watch my carbs and I'm feeling miserably. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to probably scrape all the meat off of the remaining sandwiches. My daughter took one to work with her and heat it up in the pan and serve it that way. But let's talk about the book. And I've shown this book before in a prior video. And I got to look, make sure it's up in my other camera. Building a Non-Anxious Life. Uh, I finished it. Uh, I'm going to need to read it again in smaller sections. There's a lot there. It's about 240 pages. And some of the gist of this book is anxiety is not a disease. It's just your body trying to get attention. So that, that's the big thing. And he has six points that he goes through. Um, I'm not going to go in depth on it. Um, and as a disclaimer, I'm not a mental health professional. Please seek your own path. That's all I will tell you. So I've got six caveats. Changes I've made, um, as many of you know, my wife is in a long-term care facility. I've had to balance that quite a bit with when I was working. Uh, now that I'm not working, uh, I do have time, but I'm not trying to spend all my time there. Um, it's, it's sometimes too difficult just to be there. Um, so I balanced it out to a few times a week for a few hours. Um, make it work that way. I've started attending church again. I've picked a non-denominational church this time because I, I was brought into the Catholic Church 20, almost 25 years ago. And I found the churches I was attending to be too egocentric. Um, and it would drive me crazy. So I've made a change there. Um, so other other things I've done, I've saved a lot of money. I didn't think I could do this um, in a short period of time, but I have. Uh, that's helped in making this retirement choice possible. Yeah, I'm not going to have big trips all over the place, but I'll have enough. Um, other things the book recommends is declutter. And that's what I've been working on on and off for the last few years. I now have a collection of things to put into a garage, garage sale later this year. So I'm hoping that would work. Um, and those are the big pieces of this. Uh, the book concludes with three words, life is hard, and it is, and you've just got to figure out what's best for you. Um, and I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I believe in you. So make it, make your, make your, Make your challenges work. Uh, get the professional help as needed. Uh, it's out there. Um, it's We can talk about it uh, without a stigma now. Um, I, I'm happier. I was seeing a mental health professional. I'm examining my new benefits under Medicare Advantage. And I need to make some phone calls to figure out what to do and what I want to do. So that's going to be coming. And thank you for listening, and I appreciate it. I have appreciate I appreciate all the new subscribers that have joined this channel in the last month or so. Uh, that's starting this channel is starting to get a bit of traction, 
And what will help is if you would subscribe and share the link to this video and tell your friends, because uh, that helps me. Um, I know I don't like begging for, for subscribers, but we get there. Um, I'm probably further along. There's a YouTuber, YouTuber known as Mr. Beast, and he's posted his progress year by year as to number of subscribers. I'm actually ahead of him right now at the same point in time. So I'm encouraged that maybe I will become a big time YouTuber or not. You know, you never know. I'm just, I'm doing this because I like doing it. A um, couple of other things. I've started a second channel called Celluloid Journey. I'm going to try to make some time, maybe go see a movie a little bit later this afternoon and uh, report on that later. Um, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck to you.